Jaffe, will you explain the difference between ubiquinol and ubiquinone? And tell us what form is the best for a human being to take? Very important question because the companies that sell ubiquinol want you to think that's the best. The companies that sell ubiquinone want you to think that's the best. <clears throat> now the answer is, I think, pretty straightforward. The active form of coenzyme Q10 is ubiquinone. Ubiquinol has to be converted in the body to ubiquinone. Now ubiquinol is a more soluble form of coenzyme Q10, a famously insoluble molecule. Now my answer is, you should enhance the uptake by mycelizing the CoQ10, the ubiquinone, in 100% rice bran oil. The other approach, the ubiquinol, is always delivered to enhance its uptake, it's always delivered with antifreeze. Ethylene glycol, the very compound that if a dog licks a, a slick on, a, on a, a puddle, dogs are very sensitive to, to glycols. Their livers are not able to detoxify glycols. Glycols are harsh on the human liver, but the human liver can detoxify glycols. So to enhance the uptake of ubiquinol and to have a marketing advantage, these companies specify that it must contain the enhancement uptake of ethylene and propylene glycols. Now it's not illegal, but I don't like it as a physician, as a scientist, as a consumer. This is not the form of CoQ10 that I want. I want the active form, that's the ubiquinone, and I want it mycelized in 100% rice bran oil so it can get into me without antifreeze.